Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about the easiest way to find roots of cubic equations. Now, when it comes to cubic equations, you're, if you're fortunate enough, you might be able to take the cube root of both sides. That's actually the easiest way to solve cubic equations. However, as you might imagine, not a lot of cubic equations actually fit in a way that you can just take the cube root of both sides. So when it comes to solving cubic equations, one thing you might want to consider is this particular path. Now, more often than not, you should be able to use the rational zero test for cubic equations. Now what that means is you have p over q. p are the factors of the constant term, and q is the fact, involves the factors of the leaving coefficient. Now, once you do that, it's actually a little bit of a process. You kind of put the different possibilities into synthetic division. Now, by now, you should know how synthetic division works. You basically put the number in the box, and then you write the polynomial in descending order form. But what ends up happening here is in a cub cubic equation, you're going to have three roots. Okay. Now, they can either all be real, or you may have a situation where you have one real and two complex roots. One thing in pre-calculus that they talk about is complex answers come in pairs. They always come in pairs. So when you solve it, more often than not, you'll need the rational zero test and synthetic division. But once in a while, if you're lucky, you can take the cube root of both sides. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's an overview as to the easiest way to finding the roots of a cubic equation.